Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we're here watching some Full Metal Alchemist. So, Theta, what do you remember from last time? Salim took control of Al's body, and is mm -hmm. somehow suppressing Al's mind, I guess? He, this is like straight up possession right now, isn't it? I mean, it's either that or Al is blacked out for the longest period of time so far. I think the implication from the start of the episode with, like, uh, Salim, like, looming over the body of Al in the Void is that, like, yeah, no, he's doing some extra shenanigans here to keep him unconscious. Well, I mean, because when he captured him, Al was having a hard time staying conscious. So yeah. the implication could go both ways, that Al just can't stay conscious, or that Salim was doing something to control it. Right. I guess if that's the case, though, then that would mean Al is basically done for if he's, like, permanently unconscious. He's he's dead as a character, right? Well, no, because he still has a conscious. That's what the beginning of last episode indicated to us. Which means right, he's still like, entirely able to these... throw him into the, uh, the circle when it happens. Well, I mean, like, the whole reason he's having them is because of the compatibility issues, he has on a time limit. If he's fully unconscious, his time limit's up, right? No. He just is not bound anymore. Well, the time limit is his real body starving to death. Uh, you know... There's a difference between the compatibility issue, which was, I think they mentioned fucking exploding, versus the actual death that's incoming, which is his body starving to death in the other realm. Gosh, I feel like they explained it earlier or should have, because I swear they did, but then they never did, and I'm wondering, like, are they waiting till like, the last, like, ten episodes to explain it? Should I tell you why Al is alive? <laughs> Do you uh, want to hear it? Should <laughs> you? That sound like a spoiler? Well, I mean... It shouldn't be. It should be pretty obvious, but... I mean... If you don't think they've told us yet, then it is literally a spoiler. But in that case, do you, you just want to be mystified by it? Like, do you? Yeah, it's like they should be asking me. Do you want to know how the show ends? Like, it could be a spoiler. I mean, they've this pretty isn't even how the show ends. They've basically spelled it out for you how the show's going to end, so it might not be a spoiler. That this is more like one detail for like explaining like. Uh, why is this so? Where, like, I I could have sworn they should have explained why Al's body is still going at this point. Why it is still recoverable. Because he hasn't starved to death yet. We've seen multiple over, instances. Over, like, five years? Well, you know, what's, what's heaven known for? But mana, which is, you know, <laughs> the food that kept the Israelites alive as they trekked through the desert. For what, forty years? So it's five years to forty years. <laughs> so I think to go ahead and top all of that off, we are in the fight episode. We're in the middle of the fight, and we're gonna go ahead and see Salim, Greed, Ed, and maybe Al and the two Chimeras just go ahead and finish this all off. And there's some action happening elsewhere, but it's more preparatory at the moment, isn't it? They're just kind of moving soldiers around and haven't gotten to fighting yet. Yes, we are. We are in the midst of Preparation H. <laughs> so, Theta, going into the episode, is there anything you want? Is there anything you're foreseeing? Is there anything that you're thinking about? Well, you've already indicated to me that this is a multi-episode fight, so mm -hmm. I anticipate a full-on fight episode. <laughs> So, get ready for that commentary on the fight. We're going to go ahead and do WrestleMania here, right? <laughs> Ed coming down with a sealed chair. So, for right now, I think we'll go ahead and start watching. But before we do, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you want more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut, as well as familiar access stuff, you can go ahead and follow us over on the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all to support the challenge. It's a little bit extra. Click the link down below, join the Discord, let us know. What would Ed's wrestling theme song be? Every episode now, starting with the opening theme. Yeah, we're just going straight into it. So, 
in a fight between greed and pride, who wins the <laughs> Do you know you can't spell alchemist without Al and chemist? <laughs> All right, I forgot about the third brother, Chem. No, you. Al is one of the brothers. I know. Al so they a... have a secret third brother, Chem, that they haven't talked about. No, Al... He's going to appear next episode. Al could be a chemist when they defeat alchemy and take alchemy <laughs> away from the world. Chemist is a if... real job. I guess that's a funny question. If these two didn't have alchemy, what would their jobs be? What would they be trying to do? Woodworker. Because he's it's fucking totally... Jesus. <laughs> So, so arts, crafts, and woodworking. All right. No, I think we saw pretty much in his backstory that he's shit at making stuff. He has the worst taste, yeah. He ruined <laughs> the fucking floor doing it. Mm-hmm. We gonna get one more opening, no. or is this gonna be it to the end? Uh, say again, sorry? Sorry? <laughs> I just missed the question. You told me to say sorry again, so I did. So you can't shoot him to death, but you can cut them to death. No, he's not dying. Will you stop killing me? Despite what the subtitle might say. I don't know, that's a scream of pain to me right there. Yeah, and that he... hurt. They feel pain. No, he said that it was close. Despite what the English might have said. Also, are you basing all of your argument on the stupidest of the homunculi? Why won't you just I'm just saying we have contradictory evidence now. No, we don't. He's clearly not dying. He says he keeps dying, and that's what they do. They die and come back. I think if you're able to say that you're dying, you're not dying. Or dead, rather. Oh, there we go. John Cena playing Gluttony. Oh, I love the wide shot, though. to read the flow of chi. Not only that, we're also trained to act in the darkness. Oh, he was here the whole time. And you said he walked <laughs> off home. And he walked all the way back. Time no see, huh, kid? I still can't see you, Fu. But wait, how are you able to find us? We've been hiding out in Central, trying to keep an eye on things for a while now. So you can find that both him and uh, the girl walked off together. Mm -hmm. So your assumption would mean that you thought they both walked home. Yeah. It, it's been a few months. There's been a lot of traveling by the main cast. These, these guys could go there and come back. Except we know they didn't. She's got auto mail. And Zing doesn't have auto mail. Right, Lan Von stayed behind. That was the whole point. But he... Fu went back. They literally, the they literally the walked together. So we know that they did not do that. That's probably Ed's father. You think so? Are you saying that your father isn't human? Trust me, he's the least of our concerns right now. We've got to figure out how to deal with these homunculi. Or is he? You don't have to worry about gluttony. I mean, not anymore. He was. I mean, you're like calling Bradley a human. Seven months since her auto mail was attached. That's crazy, old man. She's not gonna last without help.
And Ed's dead again. We have resources besides hand -hand combat. Actual weapons are actually our weapons. <laughs> Oh man, this guy's ready for a mob. <laughs> Quick, everybody, get the pitchforks. All right, that eases my mind a little. Tell me something. What all do you have besides explosives? Hmm? All sorts of things: tear gas bombs, flash bombs, flares. The lights are starting to come back on, which means Pride can use the shadows again. We need to get over there and help Heinkel. Yeah. That's a shame that I just mentioned a bunch of explosives that are all light-based material. I know. Man, it'd be a shame if there was a flare that lit everything up. <clears throat> just gonna stare at each other for a bit? So we pad out the time. Ed. Watch yourself, kid. Don't forget what pride is, alright? It's funny for all the clothes ripping up being shown in these attacks. Not a lot of clothes has been ripped. <laughs> Conversely, last episode we saw he ripped open his back, Salim's back, exposing skin and blood. Yeah, we're missing some of the clothing continuity, right? Yeah, kind of like your pillow continuity from three episodes ago. <laughs> no one will ever know. I'm afraid your hunch was right on the money. He may look like a cute little brat, but Celine Bradley's not cute. That's right. She had this information available the whole time. I think she had to actually go get it. 50 years old. He's with a government. 50 year old kid. Hell yeah. I decided to check into the Fuhrer's supposed hometown as well. They've got plenty of records showing that he was born and raised there. But I couldn't find a single resident who's even seen the Bradley family. Their mansion is just a hollow facade. And of course there aren't any relatives. You know, you think you'd be better about clearing that up. I appreciate if you claim to be from there, then you should at least make sure the people from there will also say that you are. Otherwise, why hasn't anybody ever said anything before? I I guess the big question is, you know, who's investigating? Like, unless someone's come by to do your autobiography, right? Well, apparently we sent the horrors. <laughs> to investigate, and that's how you don't bring up attention. The country, they can hide anything they want, fabricate anything. Yeah, like they're alchemists or something. <laughs> but alchemists don't fabricate truth. That's up to the spy. Network. I don't think you, as an alchemist, can use fabrication as some sort of insult when it's literally your job. Hey, who is that? Someone out oh, you killed him. And he's eating a kid. Oh no, it's got a kid. <laughs> See, he attacks light sources, Griff. It does <laughs> not explain the whole tunnel system that. Time, Pops. Who would have thought a little kid like this could be a homunculus? I Real stupid, by the way. He has no idea how hard that'll hit. What if he ran in and oh fuck, my arm is destroyed? Yeah, didn't those shadows like cut metal before? A lot of shit that cuts metal and has no effect on his arms for that reason. Where is he? 
Where's Mustang? He's still in the bar. He doesn't usually spend this much time in there. The woman who owns the bar, Madam Christmas, her real name is Chris Mustang. She's his foster mother. Dun dun dun. There it goes. My poor little chateau. I'm sorry it had to be this way, but I'll buy you a new one. Well, you've got some time to do it. It's probably best if I lay low for a while. And what about all of the girls that work for you? Of course you're worried about them. Well, don't concern yourself too much. They're off sunbathing in an exotic locale, and I doubt they're thinking of you. <laughs> now get focused. There's too much at stake. You need to be thinking about saving this country. <laughs> and the next time I see you, you better not be inside a body bag and marked as a dissident. I won't be happy with you. Thanks for everything, madam. I promise that I'll repay you. Oh, so you'll remember me when you've made it big? Well, I guess I'll have something to look forward to then. Ah, right? oh, I just love how sassy she is. <laughs> I'm just now remembering what you said about adoption in Mushoku Tensei. Oh, yeah. And putting that into context here. Yeah, that adoption and slavery are just basically two sides of the same coin. And how you must now think about Roy Mustang. Rising up from a... Metal alchemist. <laughs> oh, we should go bring that argument in here. We'll be here all day. I'm sorry, I'm just... Put a, the context so close together is unavoidable. Now knowing that Roy Mustang is adopted, and your thoughts on adoption. About time, Colonel. Didn't think you were gonna show. You keep up with the smart-ass comments. That's right. Me, the genius here, has decided to meet underground. Surely, <laughs> surely the shadow, the shadow guy, won't be able to find us. status I've got the entire family's itinerary for the next three days the Fuhrer went to observe the training in the east Salim joined him for the trip as well then you haven't heard the news the Fuhrer's train was destroyed with the Fuhrer riding in it <laughs> we'll all be damned old man Grumman doesn't like to take any chances does he that means that security is gonna be elevated now this could be even more difficult than we thought that it would how much is this going to affect our mission? I don't think it... Is the Eastern Again, still he's not dead. Central as planned? <laughs> like, you wanted to bring up how many times Operation Valkyrie failed. Know you know? Like how many times did we try to kill Hitler and it didn't work? I don't know. He, they, they haven't found him, so he must be dead. Look, Griffin, the only person who was ever successful in killing Hitler was Hitler. <laughs> when you want a job done right... <laughs> Get out of do it yourself. Your order, sir. Unfortunately, I don't see Bradley dying alone in a bunker what here. Action we may take. We're heading straight for the battlefield. Yeah, I think a lot more people would probably cover history if we found out that Hitler was like a super speed. <laughs> We're gonna <have> super speed <laughs> master <laughs> fencer, you know? Oh my gosh! Uh. <laughs> Don't make Re me think fast. Regenerated super fast. Unexplained moment of history. I'm only giving you a single order to obey. Don't die. Understood? Sir. Cool. Same orders we got in 86. Yeah. <laughs> Especially considering that I've got like a thousand arms and he's got like the one that he keeps using. I do like the characters themselves are confused. Maybe we'll get an answer. That I'm literally attacking him at 17 different locations at once. And he's got the one arm he's blocking with. I really think the animator is fucking me up. I made the right decision by keeping my northern auto mail after all. This carbon fiber base has turned out to be pretty handy. A carbon base? Yeah, which is especially funny because every time Windows described it to us, it's been weaker and weaker than the last one. 
<laughs> there we go. He copied greed. Now everything makes sense. That's right, Salim knows where you're ticklish, Al. <laughs> What's the matter? You're not giving up, are you? <laughs> you brought this on yourself. Ow! I figured this might give me the advantage. Unless you want to destroy your brother. To be fair, they didn't exist when Selim was created. That is true. It's been like at least a hundred years for them, right? Or one or week. <laughs> Sorry, Ling. I paid for this arm with my vocal cords, apparently. That or my voice artist couldn't be here today. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! He's not conscious. You gotta get him out of here. Yeah, well, another thing that doesn't make sense about this what? is when Al gets knocked out, there's nothing that keeps his head attached to the rest of his body. That's why his head goes flying off so often. Mm -hmm. Not doing that now. I, I guess it had some kind of grip in there. Gluttony at the worst time, everybody. You're pushing your luck. No, but I've got this thing called plot armor. That's why I can stab you 17 times in the same direction and you can block me with one appendage. from Shin, the one Rath had an encounter with. She can sense our presence. And Greed must have turned his body over to the Shinies Prince in order to do the same. How pathetic. <laughs> Gluttony. Huh? How many times have they killed you now? I lost count. But I know it was a lot, though. They've beaten me up pretty badly as well. The way things are going, there's a very real chance they might annihilate us. Yeah, but that's okay, because Father will fix us. I guess New Greed doesn't have the gate. I I guess he wouldn't need it, right? He hasn't used it. I think he did start transforming last time, but he got, like, cut off from it. I guess he needs a warm-up. How ironic. He wanted to eat, but he cannot save himself from being eaten. A little bit of the memory, I guess. Same way Creed right. had. It checks out, he just, as a person, is like too dense to really get it or be after it. I don't want really to be angry, I'd be more delighted at the irony that somebody ate gluttony. Well, Greed's all about, like, keeping everything to himself, so killing off a friend is against Greed's code. Except for that time where he killed one of his friends. Right, because he didn't think about it, because that was blocked away. So, the exception to his code, then. Look, you know I'm going to be a bitch now, because yeah. the bad guys are losing only because of the virtue of the fact that they're the bad guys. Not because the other guys have done anything clever. I think running in and swiping away with your metal arm 
is not the clever thing to do. Well, I think that's literally, you had no idea if this was going to work. And for some reason, the guy who can attack you at a hundred different angles from all of the shadows that you can't see, mm -hmm. you're somehow blocking <laughs> with one arm. I guess we've kind of like amped up the animeness a little bit because we have people literally doing light speed dashes now, or at least like uh, just sliding across the screen without even being seen. Not even concerned about that. And I guess that. Ed's inherited a bit of that, right? I'm not concerned about the movement ability, considering mm -hmm. that just accelerates when something would happen. Again, right, Salim like is attacking. Salim is attacking him in a hundred different ways and a hundred different locations. And he's literally, you know, just ha ha ha, I gotcha. Got all of them. I guess Salim maybe isn't actually that great of a fighter when it's not people who are either ambushed or frightened of him. It's literally maybe like, his power did you isn't watch. actually that all powerful. Did you watch uh, Freddy vs. Jason? I don't think so, but I've probably seen enough random bits of it. From what we've uncovered. Mustangs gathered his subordinates and is sneaking around. Mustangs got to have something to do with the Fuhrer's train. Hell, he's probably the one behind the Ishvalans pouring into the city. I doubt that it's a coincidence. It does seem like it's all perfectly timed. Then where do we find him? You're all more experienced with the way this Mustang character operates than I am. What would you predict to be his next plan of action? Find a place that sells mini skirts. If I were in his place, well, I would most likely take the Fuhrer's wife as a hostage. Why bother doing such a thing? He must know that's futile. So he's going to take a pointless hostage and make sure that he's branded as a traitor. Even further proof that humans are relentlessly ridiculous creatures. Andreas Sloth is so big, he can't be in frame at the same time. Yeah. He's just a looming presence there. He's just vibing. See, if they really were bad guys, they just would have opened fire and just killed whoever was the fuck was in that car and then pulled off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the government's not just bad. It's just, you know, full of assholes. I guess maybe they've literally never had something like this happen before, so... I need you to come with me, Madam Fuhrer. We have no intention of harming you. Please, it's important. Conceivably, she's done nothing wrong. Why were they driving this far out of the city? Mm, maybe, Memories maybe Bradley called for her. What a total mind. choice to but make here, going to this music for the end, uh, for the next time. What the they're classic music that they always use? Yeah. Next time on Full Metal Out. We've been doing like so much building tension, then we go to this. Filial affection. Not familial love, as was said in the club titles. They now face the daybreak. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a scene where Freddy uh -huh. Krueger <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> knocks over like a giant shack of pipes that all fall into Freddy uh Jason Voorhees. And pierce yeah. him completely all over the place. Because he's being attacked by a thousand different angles at once. That's yeah. my point with the whole Ed versus Salim fight. Is that Salim is just launching all of these tendrils all at him. All over the place at once. And Ed is just one-arming all of these attacks. Yeah, but that's kind of been his style the entire time. That's not any different than the rest of the way he normally fights, right? The difference is Salim. 
the way he fights, he's not like, okay, say a bunch of people were shooting bullets at Ed, right? Conceivably, the arm could be strong enough to stop a bullet. So he could just do the same thing with bullets, if you want to think that way. Would you have no yeah, problem sure. if Ed just starts, instead of running away from gunfire, just starts doing this with his arm? <laughs> Would that seem as cool to you right now? <laughs> No, no, that would be totally cool. Yeah. That... <laughs> oh, no, that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, well, but conceivably, yeah, no, I, it's what's happening. I I guess what's happening here is that, like, Selene has been completely overhyped. I think that's exactly what's happened. It's not the true. The idea of what he's capable of is way higher than what he actually is. It's not true because we can see what he's capable of. He's doing it on screen. And then the animation changes when Ed's on screen and the opposite side. We see Salim mm -hmm. with a hundred arms, all spike-ended, flying at Ed. And then Ed, when it's his turn on the animation side, just blocks them all one at a time. Despite he, he the fact that with, we like, saw... A lot of shapes, but how many shapes has he ever attacked simultaneously with? At most, I've seen him like do like a claw thing. With, okay, like, I'm, three. Being, I'm being hyperbolic when I say 100, but yeah. I would say at least 20 at once. And like mm -hmm. I said, all at the same time are coming at Ed, but when it's Ed's time to be in focus on camera, it's one, two, three, four. He blocks them one at a time, despite mm -hmm. the fact that they're all coming in at once. And yeah. they're not stopping like some bad you know, kung fu movie. It's not like, oh, they're all coming in and then they all stop midair so that one, four, two, three, you know, yeah. so Chuck Norris can look cool for the camera. It makes no sense. That's what I'm saying. Equally, it could just be three guys with, like, AK-47 shooting at him and it mm. just, all the bullets are coming at once. But then They're they all slow just shooting at his arm for some reason. They all slow down in midair so that one can accelerate at a time, so that he can <laughs> Wonder Woman this out of the air with his magic bracers. Uh, as far as like uh, why he's able to defend, like you caught that, right? Yes. Okay, just making sure because I I thought for a second like that was something we that literally actually, like, covered it. Yes, uh, he, we covered how his arm is supposed to have been gotten weaker, but he copied Greed's thing with the carbon. Yeah. Okay, just making sure that wasn't lost here for some reason. No, my my problem isn't that his arm isn't strong enough. My problem he, is that he's turned into the Flash, so he can block multiple things from multiple angles. We have become no a little bit more anime, I think. <laughs> uh, so I guess aside from the flashiness of everything, is there anything like sticks out here for you today and like everything else that happened? Anything you want to talk about or think about? What's in your mind? No, not really. Aside think... from the one sword point, which I know you'll carry with you for like the next 10 weeks. <laughs> Well, I mean, the last episode would be like Salim should have got, would have had this handle because it's a bad case of plot armor. It is. It is. Like they I they did the bad. minimum amount of work to say, oh yeah, it's the carbon fiber that protected me from the cold in the north allows me now to do the thing that Gree did. Cool. That should have been done if he was like fighting Bradley one on one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now my arm can defeat your weird ass sword uh, swordsmanship. I can yeah. block that because that's that would literally be one or two on one. When you you know you can sell one sword versus two swords, that's that's fine. Yeah, Salim is basically like a gun, like a shotgun of sp uh, spikes and spears. You can't do one. Ed should have made his arm into a shield, like a giant shield. Then I could have fucking understood it. But I'm he actually didn't. just pondering now. What if any homunculus just carried a shotgun with them and just used it on Ed? No, I mean, it's, it's, it's basically... <laughs> it would be over, right? It's literally the whole uh, Boba Fett versus a Sith thing, right? Boba yeah. Fett has a flamethrower. Lightsabers mm -hmm. don't stop flames. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the KOTOR one where uh, HK-47 is asked, like, what would you do to, to destroy a Jedi? It's like, well, I would lure him into a building, and I would explode the building on top of him. And there's nothing they can do about that shit. 
Well, I mean, that's the classic case of like tabletop uh, Star Wars shit. It's like, okay, yeah. what do you do? Well, they can't do anything against gas, and it's like, except for then the uh, prequels came out and they hold their breath for a long time. But you oh, said yeah. you said like HK forty seven. It's like, well, how would you be the Jedi? It's like outlive them. It's probably <laughs> the number one answer. I mean, it's one of the most oh, yeah. smart ass answers of how does Superman beat Batman? Oh, he goes into orbit and then outlives him. Yeah, just go ahead, wait, like, uh, Batman is usually portrayed, like, 40s, I would guess. So, yeah, no, you may only need to wait, like, 40 to 60 at most. Well, it's, it's like the how of the ten ways that Batman beats Superman, and how of the thousand ways that Superman beats Batman, and it right. always starts off with one, two, and then, you know, goes into orbit, outlives him. You know, there's always a bunch of... Superman uses his laser beam sight from orbit on Batman because he can see where Batman is at any time. He is a laser satellite. It's not hard to kill Batman. You have to be, one, a fanatic Batman fan, and two, a writer in the same position to come up with a way. Right. So I guess overall here... Maybe it could have been explained better, like, what are Salim's limits? How good is he actually at doing things? It's not is an explanation. Keep up? It's is not, there... It's not an like, explanation yeah, those level. could have filled the gap for you, is what I'm saying. No, no, because you're saying we have to explain why Salim is weaker than he actually is. And it's like, no, he's not. He's exactly as he's written. They should, If there was writing to be done, it should have been... Why uh, planning? It should have been planning on Ed's part, or, like I said, I would have been more willing to accept it if he turned his arm into a shield, because then he could block entire portions of his body instead of this thin-ass arm blocking every direction all at once. Or, you know, they could have spent a little bit more animation budget, and he could have been doing the rocks into the air thing. You know, where he brings up the earth underneath him and he jumps up into the air, getting out of way of all of those uh, tendrils at once. Forcing, like, a single angle or something, too. Yeah, like, th- those could have all been good well, options. he's right? done them in fights all across the series so far. It would have mm-hmm. fit the scenario and would not have been so plot armory as, again, the literal plot armor that was his arm. So, yeah. they could have done anything... And they wouldn't have had to, like, decrease Salim's power. They would have just made, literally, they would have made Ed look better by Ed mm-hmm. doing stuff that he's done so far at a higher tier to have been able to stand up to Salim. A little bit better writing would have made the main character look better, the fight more drastic, but instead they went Wonder Woman. And I'm not insulting Wonder Woman. I'm just saying that her ability for her magic bracers to stop bullets is, is literally what one-armed Ed is doing. Right. So I guess in that case, uh, I think that's probably about all of your thoughts then, right? I mean, now that you go. want to keep going with it, you're the one who's prompting me <laughs> with why Salim should have been rewritten. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead and wrap it up right there for right now. This has been Stoneface Reactions, everybody. I'm Griffin, that's Theta, and we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?